I'm here to speak to a supervisor. I have complaints about police misconduct. Okay, in what city? Lake Forest, the one we're in. Okay. Do you plan that the person you need to speak to would be the admin sergeant for the city of Lake Forest Police Services? Cool, yeah. I mean, it's Monday business hours. Good time to look for them, right? They, they don't work out of this building. Oh, they don't work out of this building. They work out of Lake Forest City Hall. Lake Forest City Hall. I'll take the contact information. You got a flyer? All right, well, in that case, I need an officer for a new criminal complaint today. Okay, what type of criminal complaint? Uh, double charges, stalking and larceny. Okay. Can I have your name? Wood. That's your first name? My surname, Mr. Wood. Mr. Wood. Okay. W-O-O-D? Yes. Quite difficult to spell, isn't it? Your uh, telephone number. And you said, you said it was stalking and what else? Larceny. I've got both penal codes researched and on hand. Um, the stalking's actually new. I was just became aware of it. But, oh boy, is it applicable. Oh boy. Hell, the, the two statements, the, the, the elements of that crime say there must be two messages of harassment. I'm going with the two times my stalker flagged down me making previous, previous police reports in the past week. <laughs> There you go, there's two, one, two. Okay, Mr. Wood, have a seat and I'll call the Habitat Deputy Constitution. Thank you. <clears throat> that will be Matthew Richard Crowell, Megan's Law pedophile that we and his team in the Troll Brigade Mafia we are complaining about. Cops have had I'm coming on seven years and haven't done shit. Something about. You know, this, this repeat offender child molester, his immediate family happens to be cops. So they haven't done anything about a restraining order and a million violations and his construction of a team called the Troll Brigade Mafia, a terror team led by a pedophile staffed with sex offenders that bullies disabled people and old women and oh, yeah. children. Yeah, he used to live in Santa Ana in a crack hotel, and they tore the fucking hotel he was in down and moved in with his brother in Covina. But he's local. Yeah, he's bouncing around somewhere, either LA or OC. You can check him on Megan's list. Richard Crow, Megan's Law Pedophile. He seems to move a lot. I know, because I've sent the sheriff to serve in papers several times, and always some issue with the Megan's Law Pedophile. He's supposed to be always unregistered. Sure, has nothing to do with the fact his immediate family are cops. Surely not. <laughs> Alright, you're finished. Alright, like I'm not cutting these guys off. They were here first. No, it's uh, theirs was quick. Okay. You're good to go. What's up, buddy? Okay. Alright, well, I've got another report on my stalkers bothering me. This okay. time, I want to highlight two individual attacks. Remember, I called recently and filed some reports with you guys? I, I don't personally. You hear about that? Okay, anyway, last week I filed some reports with you guys. I was up here at the local Starbucks, had my computer set up, had you guys come up there, filed a report, okay. receive further attacks later in the next coming days, so later I filed a second report. Okay, I made videos and we found the reports with the officers, right? Okay. Well, when I posted those videos on social media, my stalker flagged those down. Who's the stalker? Uh, this individual is Lou Stefano. He's part of a larger group but he is the active one of the moment, so to speak. A lot of long stories, but there's an easy way to tell with this. He holds daily live streams where him and his buddies discuss their antics, so he's bragging about it openly, as he has been for the last several months. I'm his hot button topic or whatever. So when you right. made these reports, was it regarding him? Yeah, yeah, I was making a report about him and his previous attacks. Okay. Then he flagged, not one, but two, two separate videos of me making a police report mm -hmm. okay now i was doing research i got those uploaded by the way during the same session i recorded me making a report to the police sat there uploaded it got him live he flagged him and destroyed him within minutes yeah he, they don't, i'm not good with computers colton how does he do it 
Um, what you do is you get a team of people, a group of people to simultaneously make false claims about a specific video. In my case, they're saying my stuff has oh, COVID so misinformation, so that I am conflicting like, with the World Health Organization. YouTube? This, in this case, yes. So they're going to like YouTube admin people and saying bad things about Yeah, they're filing a report they, okay, and they, they, they post the scripts they use and everything. And yeah. they, again, they talk about their antics openly. And the, the trick is getting a group of people to simultaneously do it. Most of my shit goes down for child pornography. I welcome an investigation. I assure you there was no child sure. pornography there. I assure you, you might want to double check that. Do like you the, have those the, report numbers or the report number that you filed last week? I probably do. But anyway, um, the, the point is him ta those two messages in and of themselves com comprise a violation of another statute, a stalking statute. Um, these are most likely relevant. I'm not sure those are the exact ones, but again, it's been going on for now, coming up on seven years. So, um, that's both of those are your department, right? Yes. Okay, yeah, and uh, you, they're dated? Uh, not dated. Yes, I don't know the date. Huh. See, the thing is, I'm not 100% sure those are the most recent two. Those are two of them, but they may be older than, than the one I made last week, and that's what we're talking about today. Oh. It gets to be hard to store all the data. Um, so either way, you write them down or whatever? Or? This one I'm going to write down because it okay. seems to be, based on the number, it's the most recent one. Okay. Because <laughs> I try to save that stuff, but it just gets to be so much, and they're so, they're identical. So since you're just reporting more of the same incident? No, no, no. the stalking charge uh, is a new one. I didn't know about that when I made the previous reports for larceny for tampering with the videos. But my point is you've already made allegations about the stage you put up that were flagged. In, in this immediate case, there's two I was talking about, but I posted them redundantly on multiple projects, so coming to a total of five flags. So five, so flags, five two videos. Two videos were replicated, and again using the simultaneously false flag for for COVID information conflicting with the World Health Organization. And get this, I'm not anti-vax. I am not against the World Health Organization. I'm pro-vaccine, and I've got my vaccine. And he also flagged in the past the video of me getting my vaccine and encouraging my viewers to do the same as anti-vax information. But on again on his daily live streams where he brags about his exploits, he calls the vaccine a genocide. He says it's a government manipulation. He's schizophrenic. He's paranoid schizophrenic. Oh, and he also, get this, he works as a security guard by trade. He works third shift, right? So what he does all night is he parks in a parking lot somewhere where he's supposed to be security guard, probably armed, gets on his phone and deals out abuse to old ladies and disabled people and children. And then the next, he goes home, goes to sleep at six o'clock in the morning, gets up at noon and starts the live stream with his right wing one percenters fucking militia men. They love flashing guns and flashing body armor and doing practice drills and stuff. The, we, we got like the um, Punisher skull draped in the Confederate flag, you know, the type of people we're dealing with here. And they brag about their exploits and how much damage and pain and suffering they caused. So we spend 16 hours a day metting out abuse to vulnerable members of the community and then he's got his buddies and his whole the salty swimmers are all one little subgroup that used to work with the troll brigade mafia no longer do because of the sexual assault of the cop's wife that put richard out made it cause richard trouble see richard is a repeat offender child molester that needs access to drugs and the police protect him because his immediate family is cops so when his friends get high and sexually assault the cop's wife that makes his life a little bit more difficult so he wasn't happy so the cop himself put a gun to Luis Stefano's wife's face. And he says he's a victim as well, which I will believe my experience with Richard Cromack is all pedophiles. He turns on and destroys everything he touches. So probably, but, you know, he picked to work with them and he still bullies me outside of um, the Trouble Gay Mafia. So, But yeah, and that's another thing with the stalking statute. It's got in there if you're sending these harassing messages and taking these harassing actions is part of a violation of a protective order it can make each message a felony there was a straining order against crowd from 20 i did from 2015 to 2018 that's expired now but he he committed a hundred thousand violations of it during its time we're going to take your information we're going to write another report so 
you'll have do you have your report numbers? Or? Yeah, I'm supposed to give these to my caseworker. They're supposed to eventually put some more pressure on you guys. And like I said, his false flags are preventing me from showing the community well, the, the fact. The isn't necessarily on us, Colton. We take the initial information. The complaints, yes, yes. I was talking to Castro about that recently. I've been reporting this to you for two and a half years. Um, I'd like to look at some of the wording of some of these requests, the complaints going to the DA to see what they're not picking up. Because I mean, some of these things are, are just so flagrant. So our investigators take this and then whatever department gets it, whether it be general investigations, whether it be special victims unit investigators type stuff, they research it. They file their case with the DA and then let the DA decide what they're doing. I want to see that. I want to see what they're presenting to the DA. I want, I want to know how the DA is turning down um, a, a gang of repeat offender child molesters mm -hmm. bullying disabled you people for fun. To request copies of the reports. It's public record, so you, okay. can, you can request those. Yeah, I'm going to be working. I've, I've, I'm still waiting on my, um, my 2019 for your request for the 911 calls and me trying to get help with Gomez. With Dayson, oh, they're in communication with my stalkers. If you just go to Dayson's page, to Tricome D, that's She's a good question. City? I haven't seen Dayson in a while. I haven't seen him a couple of days, which is odd for him, but good for me. Still staying at the, I'm pointing the wrong direction. Over dimension, dimension, this is where I usually see him, which is right by my storage and the closest place I can get power for the bike, my laptop. And Are you still staying in the, in the nature park? Yeah. Street? Yeah, I stay over there all the time. You it's guys stay away from each other, I hope. Or I don't want anything to do with the crazy. He's saying I'm trying to have sex with him, that I want him. He's an unvaccinated, oily creepo. You do not understand how offensive that is to me. Right. I would not, if I find out that someone's unvaccinated and they touched me, I'll kill them. All right, Colton. They're then again, I've been covered in his blood. Call. So we have your information. We'll write the report. And like I said. Yeah, I'm going to do my best to get this out to the public and show the public, like, hey, team of pedophiles conducting terror operations in right. your community. Okay. Um, oh, right now, if you look on his projects on the Lou Stefano channel from that pig pen address, uh -huh. he's got videos from his end where old ladies are bragging, or he's bragging about his abuse of old ladies, and they're begging their local law enforcement for help. I got copies of it if he's taking it down, but it's all the way in North Carolina. Yeah, but it's other Vic. Well, no, 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 no. It's on their side of the country, North Carolina. And it's an old lady. You guys should. Yeah, you should get the update. This guy's national but and international. It's, it's across state lines. But they give the, the detective's number for the cases there. Maybe you guys want to communicate about. Like I said, we're just boots on the ground. We write the initial report. Talking to the other investigative police officers might get who knows what information they have it's a sweet little old lady that may have done some more d dirt digging and have a file for you all right they're trying to call so yeah. we got to go somewhere else now buddy all right yeah, yeah the, again these stalkers do live streams every day blagging about their exploits the investigation could be as simple as just monitoring them hit the subscribe button and the bell icon for notifications leave thumbs up make sure to share this on all your social media struggling young businessman some retard trying to make his way in the world you can help just by clicking a few buttons too lazy then donate a dollar <coughs> paypal links in the description i also have patreon just getting started with that if you would like to make a monthly commitment i got plans starting at a dollar